this is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in Little Italy today for the announcement of David Price signing with Sowland Promotions. With me, I've got Calla Sowland. All right, Cal? You're right, James. How are you? Very well, sir. Very well. Yeah, not too bad. Not too Talk bad. to me about the signing of David Price. What, what has brought this on? Well, you know, we're always on the lookout for a, for a big heavyweight, and, you know, David Price certainly meets, fits that bill. And uh, he's, 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 he's just got everything that it takes to be a great heavyweight. You know, he's a big guy. Uh, massive punch, um, you know, and uh, and he's and he's a technically a very good fighter, and you know I know there's a lot of people who say always oh, glass jaw because he's because of the especially the the, the first fight. There's nothing wrong with David Price's jaw. Take a look at the second Thompson fight and look how many takes on the jaw. Did he go down? No, you know. So it's it, you know the, the whole the whole thing about Thompson is in the past. We aim to rebuild from here. It's going to be a 12-month process uh, of of taking him around on our shows and, uh, and doing a bit of a mini world tour with him, and then looking to stage a show after the summer in Liverpool as a homecoming. Do you think this is going to take a lot of pressure off David, having fought so many times at the Echo headlining the shows? Are you going to try and get him maybe on the undercard of fights rather than billing him as a as a top of the bill fighter? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, he's had 45 rounds, you know, and. Uh, 45 rounds and he's done, I don't know, he's headlined, I don't know how many shows, you know, and, you know, he had 38, 38 rounds before he boxed Tony Thompson, you know, that's, so he has been pushed along quickly and, you know, there's absolutely no criticism on, on what's gone on in the past, you know, it's always easier to come in and say, well, that was wrong, this was wrong, but it's what they did and, you know, that's what happened, we have a little bit of a different view here, we, we, we're not in a, we're not in any rush, you know, um, and, uh, you know, we'll take our time because we believe in him, you know, we have, you know, it's not like we've t we've turned up here and you know s just simply signed a UK fighter. We 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 actually really believe in David Price and uh, you know I think we have a really good team together, which uh, will lead or give him every chance of reaching the goals that he wants to reach, and that's to become heavyweight championship uh, of the world. Of course, uh, David Price has signed with yourself. We've seen the announcement that. Uh, the fight between Derek Chisora, the, the purse bids have been won by Frank Warren. Can you tell me what's going to go on there? Is there a, depth in, a date been staged? Is, is that fight likely to happen? Oh, you know what, you probably know more than me. I mean, we sign on Friday, so, um, you know, we'll look at that this week. Uh, you know, we'll talk internally about it, and, um, you know, I wouldn't say it fits exactly into the plans that we had, but we'll, of course, sit down and, and look at that. At the same time, I'm, I'm talking to, or our office in Germany is talking to to Frank on um, on Chisora Pulev. Um, I'll have to find out what the latest is there, because you know he seems. I think Frank's tr trying to c a few options on uh, on uh, on Chisora, and that's fair enough as your pro as his promoter. He'll, he'll try and get as many different options as possible. Um, I think there's a lot of really good fights to be made in the UK. Uh, domestic fights, you know, obviously Price Fury, Price Chisora, these are all fights. Love to see them, but give me a little while with David first, you know. Let, let, let's 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 let 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 him rebuild, you know, because I truly believe that this this man is going to do some big things. Can you see yourself coming back into the British market to sign some other fighters? Are you going to be looking at, at that avenue now? Well. I wouldn't say that the signing is about the UK so much. You know, I've lo I looked at David as a fighter. I didn't say, oh, I want a piece of the action in the UK. We're very happy with our business the way it is. You know, we're promoting, you know, all over Europe. We did 20, 20 world title fights last year, um, which is more than any other UK uh, Euro European promoter. So, you know, I think Eddie and Frank, uh, you know, carved up the m market between themselves there. You know, Eddie's, of course, had a very strong year and, you know, I think they do a great job. You know, I think uh, Eddie Hearns is proving to be a really good promoter. He's, you know, he's similar age to me, and I, you know, I get on very well with him. Um, and you know, never underestimate Frank. You know, he's, you know, he's been been around the block enough times, and uh, you know, never underestimate him at your peril. And you know, it's it's not. This is nothing about the UK. It's not like I'm gonna, you know, interested in starting up a UK company. And you know, of course, we're going to promote David Price in the UK. Whether that's together with, with Eddie or with Frank later on, uh, we'll see, you know. Um, the, the first and foremost is the interest of my fighter. And um, for that, I'm open to anything. I'm not interested in politics. That's, that's not my game, you know. I'm here to put on good fights and, you know, but I'm, 
at the same time, I'm realistic about it. You know, we're coming off two losses. Give us a little space. You know, let us do our thing, and we'll be back. And you know, I think that will only serve credit to to the sport here. And I think I think it will be good for the fans to have a fully fit David Price uh, in mind and body. You know, who is uh, who is capable, I think, of everything in this sport. Is there a possibility that you'll look to get him on some other shows that are promoted in the UK? Is that something you guys have thought about? Uh, it wouldn't be top of my list. I think, you know, the, the, we, pr we promote enough shows ourselves abroad. Uh, if there's opportunities that come up, um, you know, I'm more than happy to discuss them with the promoters. But uh, first and foremost, I want to get him activity, you know. And uh, look, if there's a UK show and, and it fits, then, you know, we'll look at it. But really... The idea is to do two things at once. One is to rebuild, but also to give them the experience of fighting abroad because you don't always command a home crowd. So if you're trying to become heavyweight champion, you might have to go and fight in another country to do that. So if I'm, if I'm giving him both at the same time, A, letting him rebuild, and B, get showing him the world, building his brand in other markets, uh, don't underestimate the German market, the Russian market, uh, even the Scandinavian market. These are all big markets. The U.S., of course, is, might, might have them out in the U.S. Um, and those are all things, I think, which, which are valuable for his experience. Listen, Cal, I think it's a great signing for your company. I really do. We're massive, massive fans of David, and we look forward to seeing him back in action and rebuilding his career, as you say. Yeah. Thank you very much, James. Pleasure. This is James Holder with Cali Sowerland for IFL TV. Thank you very much.